All right, folks, so uh, I have an update on the, the cab here. As you can see, I've put uh, well, at least one side uh, of uh, my wood veneer. Finally got it. it. It somewhat, somewhat closely uh, matches this one. Uh, actually, the colors aren't great in this camera, but it, it, it's a good match. It's actually a... It's a convincing match. This one has a lot of dust. I need to, but yeah, it's it's close enough actually uh, that you don't notice it uh, from side to side if you uh, make abstraction of the uh, dust that's on it. So very close to the original. That's really cool. Um, bit of a problem though. What I got, uh, and that's my own fault. I didn't quite check that. I actually ordered from them and they sent me the right size at the time, but. Uh, Forgot to check, but as you can see, this is not quite wide enough. So I had to make that. I know you can't see it here, but I can because I know where it is. But uh, I had to uh, make it in two sections, and uh, so I did. I did a big section from here all the way up, and actually I have to put my fingers on it. I can't see it now. Is um, a mark? Yeah. Uh, hold on. Yeah, here because I've used the sharpie because there was a bit of a bit of a gap but here this is where the matching line is um, it's it's barely noticeable and um, you really actually it's in, only in some places you can feel it but if I, if I run my hand like that I can't I can't feel it so I know it's in two parts but to be honest I, I defy anyone to uh, to spot it even from up close you really really I can't see it from here you really have to come very close and here maybe 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 if I can focus I'm gonna turn this uh, got too much uh, light coming from outside here uh, maybe here yeah so here you can see that line here then some places shows but other than that, it's it's perfect. Um, and then I put the T-molding on that side. So I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. Um, I need to tighten the control here, here because the uh, the artwork is uh, it's been worked on, but it's uh, it's not being sent. So as soon as I got that done, and I just need to finish uh, fixing the monitor. But once I have all that done, hopefully today uh, we can move this cab into the um, into the gaming room uh, it's pretty much ready to move yeah that does uh, does look good oh man looking forward to that have it having it all done uh, this has been uh, quite a long project actually yeah especially over the winter you can only work for so long in the in the shed here because it's cold anyway let's keep working I should really film this. Uh, so what I have here is I have the cab well, I have wood just to protect the other side because it's done now. But so essentially to apply vinyl, you you align it properly. You just cut your length. So I'm going to cut it here. Uh, which I need to do this now. So let's uh, I really need to get myself a, a tripod for these because doing all this with one hand is far from ideal. There you go, so um, so once it's cut to size, so you secure one half with, uh, with just tape, just uh, try and keep it as, not, not super tight, but held in place. You don't want it to, to shift, you just want the vertical to be aligned. And then we're gonna flip that over, we're gonna peel that off up to here and cut the, and cut the back and then fold it over slowly. So let's do that. There you go, so it's peeled over. Uh, try and you know avoid the corners from sticking to anything because uh, otherwise you'll, uh, you'll have a hard time <laughs> getting it loose. There you go. And we're gonna take this squeegee, this is actually a very uh, plastic flexible squeegee I use for uh, for surfing for surfboards. Um, 
And what I do, the way I do it, is I just slide that underneath and we're gonna slowly, slowly just, uh, normally you do it with two hands. So we're gonna fold this over slowly. Uh, the squeegee will uh, help you avoid or push air bubbles out, but it'll also avoid any creases. Um, ideally, you hold that side with one hand up, uh, like so, and then sort of use the squeegee over. Actually, I might do that. There you go. Ah, so this is the problem here. There you go. Push all these air bubbles out of the way. And all the creases. Um, some people use water, or uh, I think you guys in America have uh, something called rap rapid tack. Um, that <laughs> prevents the, uh, the, the stuff from sticking too early. You can use water. Some people use washing up liquid or, or a mix of uh, all of these. Uh, I use nothing and uh, I'm doing it with one hand here so I'm having some problems but normally it's quite a simple process there you go so I'm gonna keep uh... yeah this is actually a mess because I made a mess of it so I'm gonna redo this but you get the idea and then once you're done with one side you do the same thing on the other side because this side is uh, already stuck on and aligned you're sure that your corners will match and all your lines will you know it won't it hasn't shifted sideways so uh, I'm just gonna unstick this slightly and redo it but there you go and there you go some uh, some progress so I have both sides now completed um, yeah it doesn't look half bad I have to say to humbly say I wanted to show you as well this is the uh, the wider um, uh, vinyl uh, wood grain vinyl decal that I used on the Pac-Man cabaret uh, on the sorry on the Donkey Kong cabaret uh, cab and this is the one that I used here for the uh, Pac-Man so you can see they're very different this one actually matches the front uh, this one wouldn't have and while uh, I mean it would have looked acceptable you know but at the same time it wouldn't have matched the uh, the uh, well the original feel you know you can feel this actually now both sides match uh, I've cleaned the, uh, the front here and they, they both match uh, this one wouldn't have clearly clearly it would just have uh, looked weird uh, probably not noticeable because it's hard to get both uh, actually from here yeah you, you would have noticed it so I'm glad I'm glad I waited long enough to, uh, to get this uh, even though it wasn't quite as wide as, uh, as I hoped this would have been just just wide enough uh, but I think I did a fine job you can't actually see the, the seams there's a small scratch scratch here but um, overall no you really can't see a uh, the same so kind of happy this is only a scratch here um, but I suppose it just uh, I mean I'm not trying to get it factory new I mean I kept the front here there's loads of scratches on that for the kick plate uh, just you know, to serve to the purpose of hiding the uh, work at the bottom but I, I, I wanted to keep some of the original uh, vinyl um, uh, and uh, I don't mind some damage or some scratches you know I think I think it, it adds it adds to the uh, sort of value of a cab, not the monetary value, but you, you want you want some battle marks, you know. You, you you want you want to know that this has actually sat somewhere and uh, and been played and been used and and been abused to some extent. Uh, most of my cabs have scratches and marks that I, I could remove, but I don't want either, you know. So yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's keep working. There's a, a little follow-up on the uh, G07, um, so I've put two extra caps here. Uh, this supposedly uh, is going to uh, enlarge the picture, 
because it was just a bit too narrow. Um, Space-wise, it's actually interesting because these are actually a bit wider, so I have to uh, just bend the legs in on the inside. But um, yeah, the, there's not much space, so um, uh, they all fit. They're all connected, but yeah, they're actually uh, they look funny because uh, the uh, the coil here is in the way. But uh, yeah, it's all fine. So we're gonna plug this back and see if it if it addresses our um, um, uh, height or width issue because the monitor is flipped. Anyway, let's uh, check this out. Let's check this. Let's. Okay, and this is the uh, Pac-Man. Now the monitor is sorted, uh, so you can see the width is actually pretty much uh, on top of it. I could play with the. Uh, the width coil here a tiny bit, but it looks it looks a lot less less square than it was. Uh, so those caps definitely yeah, definitely helped. Uh, I actually had to take one out because they were of a you know much much higher value than the other ones, and it turns out it just needs one. So until I, I find the original ones are very very similar to uh, what the original ones were, <clears throat> I'm just gonna stay with this one cap. It's still a bit of gap here but I think the, the gap at the bottom was always higher than the, uh, the gap at the top if I put another one it actually goes way off the top and uh, and this gets uh, cut out a bit so and uh, there's no no amount of uh, adjusting the uh, width coil will do in this case so I think it's just the uh, the value of the cap I have it's probably too high but that's okay it just means they won't blow but um, it, that's probably what is making uh, it's a bit, a bit trickier, but at least we got a, a bit of width back, or height back in this case, and uh, and yeah, it, it looks closer to uh, to what the game is supposed to look like. If you if you remember before, it was all squished, much much more squished. Uh, in fact, it was a good inch, so that one up would have been where that five two uh, score is, and this had a, yeah about that much, so this would have been a, a further up. So there you go. Um, still waiting on the artwork. Uh, hopefully, uh, well, if, if I started this video, uh, obviously, yeah, uh, it's because the artwork has arrived. So I'd say <laughs> at the time of recording this exact footage, the artwork hasn't arrived, but uh, hopefully, hopefully it arrives soon. Um, yeah, let's keep working on this. We're almost there, almost there, folks. Uh, I'll be able to uh, to put this uh, back back on and uh, and be done with Pac-Man. All right, folks, so um, I just thought I'd do, well, find the last video uh, for the uh, Hackman Cabaret. Uh, it's actually here now, sitting in my uh, game room, and it's been waiting for uh, for the artwork to arrive. And, uh, well, here it is. I finally got it. So I got artwork done uh, by uh, Ollie of uh, ArcadeArtShop.com. He's kind of our guy here in, uh, in, the, in Europe. And... Um, I, I got stuff from him before. I got that double dragon uh, art here uh, for this cab. The, uh, the, 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 the panel, the bezel, and the marquee uh, I got from him. And uh, I'm very happy with what he did. And uh, yeah, he, I mean, he, he's, he's our main guy for a reason. He's very good. And uh, uh, when I asked him to do the artwork for uh, Rebro artwork for the Hackman, he said, well, I actually hand print on plexiglass now. So it took a bit longer because not everything was ready, but it finally arrived. So here it is. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna open up the package and uh, see what we have. Oh my good God, folks. Um, so this is uh, this is the contents now of the package. And uh, so this is the uh, the marquee, uh, the little marquee. Is there back to it? No, that's the way it is. Uh, on plexiglass, it is stunning. Oh, it really is really is cool wow yeah that's gonna look sick here <laughs> oh my god i can't wait to put it up and that was actually a surprise because i actually thought this was going to be a decal but no it's actually uh, already back printed on uh, the plexiglass oh yeah Oh my gosh, that, I didn't realize actually this came uh, in a plexiglass, so there's no, there's no messing with the, uh, the, 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 the marquee. What I got here for this, uh, this double dragon was actually a, 
a, a, a decal and do you know what I'm actually I might get it redone that way and get a flexi uh, version of this and probably a panel as well because uh, because the, the panel here is textured and uh, it's much closer to what you'd find uh, on, on the Galaga the texture you find on these uh, clearly isn't the same as this and I, I didn't know enough at the time when I ordered this um, to know what it, you know if, what everything was and meant uh, I probably will redo this with a, a texture a textured um, decal in time but uh, okay this is going to take us a, a, a while because I have to disconnect the entire uh, well actually just the joysticks and, and buttons and also I'm waiting on new buttons normally the buttons on this are the the uh, the, the edge the rim here is white uh, this should be red but that's all I got so I'm, I'm gonna use that for now but uh, I'm actually I have uh, I have white uh, leaf switch buttons on the way so um, I'm gonna mix and match them that way and uh, so I'll, I'll wait until they arrive to put the uh, panel on or could I just put the panel on? Might as well. I might as well. I'd just be afraid that I won't. Uh... You can see I have a few coins because I'm using it with coins. <laughs> um, I had the option to put a. Well, I wasn't sure whether I wanted to put a a, a, a coin switch somewhere, so uh, I'm just using a, a, a actually 20 cents. It's still cool to use the actual coins. Anyway, come on, die you already. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put these already um, on the on the cab, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. All right, so <laughs> here's the uh, the marquee down, and uh, we've the uh, the monitor bezel, and it looks absolutely stunning, I have to say. Um, just gonna switch on the light here, but it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, that is so crisp as well. Now I have to say I did not expect to get this from Ali and I can't remember if he's called Ali as well <laughs> but I can't remember if uh, if we had agreed on that um, <clears throat> or uh, or if that was uh, that was his doing because I'd been waiting for quite a while um, and uh, he sent us I'll, I'll check with him afterwards but uh, regardless it, it looks it looks absolutely stunning on this and uh, that's the way I'm gonna go in the future for sure, because I realized something. Um, first, I wouldn't mind some form of maki here. Maybe I have these embedded in the uh, in the glass. And this cab here, this Galaga cab. This uh, bezel is actually a Galaxian bezel. It's not the Galaga bezel, and the Galaga bezel should be a lot more colorful. Um, so I only realized that recently. And uh, I wonder actually, I, I must check the other videos if somebody commented on that. So I, I haven't been quite sure what to do here because it just makes the cab sort of unique, I suppose, but it's, it's not quite original, but how original would you know, do you want it? But it doesn't look bad, so I, I haven't known what to do, but if I decide to get a, a, a bezel, I'll probably get it uh, in that fashion, uh, just all, all printed on already. And uh, same here if I get to replace this ever. Um, I sort of really like actually the fact that this cab is, is unique because of that. It's like the, uh, the Dig Dug cab here, the uh, Arkanoid conversion from a Dig Dug cab. It's, you know, somebody were at, a few people were at me to convert it back to Dig Dug and I'm like, well, that's actually the way it was then. You know, they were converted cabs, all these Arkanoid ones. So. I kind of like it as it is. It's like I have two games in one. I, I don't really have an interest in Dig Dug as a game, but it's cool to have a Dig Dug cab. And Arkanoid, there was no real dedicated cab, so you know it needs something else, obviously. So it's you know it's like I have two two machines in one. <laughs> and uh, I kind of feel the same sort of here. Although if you have Galaga, there's hardly no reason to have Galaxian, right? <laughs> But um, yeah, so I don't know what to do. But if I this one, I'll definitely get replaced at some point um, when it wears off, maybe. Or um, do you know what? I'm definitely gonna order because that's that's just a sheet, um, thin sheet, and then this just doesn't quite cut it. it doesn't have the same feel as those uh, 
you can feel how thick they are and uh, this feels too thin and glossy compared to doing most everything else. So we're gonna put this guy down as well. I decided and whenever I get the buttons, we should be a matter of days at this stage because the, the, uh, the, we're getting a new cab essentially. <laughs> I've, I've ordered a, a cocktail table. Oh, well, you probably noticed I uh, got rid of the maximum force cab. It was just too big. It was actually cluttering the place. And now with one less machine, we can actually see everything as we walk in. Uh, it looks a lot better. And here I decided I'm gonna have a table, a cocktail table. Uh, so there's a, a Taito cocktail table coming from uh, uh, somebody in Scotland. And uh, I'm gonna put, I haven't quite decided, but I think I'm gonna put a frogger in there. Um, so, but it needs a full restore, so that's gonna be our next project. But anyway, before we finish this video, I'm gonna put this art on it, and uh, whenever I get the buttons, I'll, I'll change them, but we don't need to make a video for that. But yeah, no, the buttons, the new buttons are coming inside the new cab. The guy had a few buttons as well, and the clamps for this control panel. It's not clamps, so it's still sort of moving, so I have it fixed in place, but it's still a bit moving. Um, also, I'm gonna have to uh, do some fixing on this board, as you can see, there's a a few uh, corrected sprites, sprite issues that uh, I probably need to fix at some point. I have a spare board, so I'll, I'll put the other board in there and then... Uh... Oh yeah, and here's another one where I might need all these services, this guy. This is actually uh, another sheet of this sort of dark plexiglass and I've just uh, put a sticker on it with the Donkey Kong logo. But looking at this, this might be a better option to... a uh, better way to do it, so, so we'll see. Anyway, let's continue working. Folks, there you go. The, uh, the whole uh, assembly is now done. So I have uh, this uh, beautiful, beautiful marquee. The uh, monitor bezel, uh, which works really well. And uh, here's the, uh, the, uh, the panel. Uh, I've also put um, this uh, white buttons. I combined, I had white buttons and I combined the white and the red. This is what um, there should be anyway. The original so I'm, I'm very happy with the way it came out and this is officially the end of uh, of this restoration it uh, it certainly took a while but it was uh, it was worth spending the time and I have um, I actually have 25 cent oops the uh, should be all working I think there's a coin stuck in there already <laughs> There you go. <laughs> so there you go, folks. Um, that's the end of the uh, Pac-Man uh, Cabaret project. I, I hope this was interesting. Anyway, folks, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next cab. Next, see you next cab. Yeah.